Dr. Adam Weishaupt was born on February 6, 1748 in Ingolstadt in a city in Bayern or Bavaria, Germany. This interesting character was the son of a rabbi and converted to Catholicism after his father's death. After studying French philosophers such as Voltaire, he supposedly learned the teachings of Satanism in the French royal court. World famous central banker, Mayor Amschel Rothschild of the Rothschild dynasty, chose Weishaupt to create the Coven of Golden Dawn, which to this day is Rothschild's private coven. Amschel Rothschild, for those who are unaware, instigated the American Revolution, America's supposed liberation from Britain. Rothschild instructed Weishaupt to create the ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria. This is better known as the Order of the Illuminati. The name in Luciferian teachings means the bearer of the light, the illuminated, or the enlightened one. The Areopagite, or tribunal, was the inner circle of the supreme order and were the only ones privy to secret meetings. In Nesta Webster's book, The World Revolution, she states, the art of Illuminism lay in enlisting dupes as well as adepts, and by encouraging dreams of honest visionaries or the schemes of fanatics, by flattering the vanity of ambitious egotists, by working on unbalanced brains, or by playing such passions as greed and power to make men of totally divergent aims serve the secret purpose of the sect. People with money were welcomed but kept oblivious to actual secrets. The purpose is to win power and riches, to undermine secular or religious government, and obtain the masters of the world. The goal of the order was, and still is, to one day deliver the human race from all religion. Progression through the political and religious hierarchy was obtained by blackmail in the form of bribing people in power with sex from local prostitutes. In the 16th and 17th century, high-ranking officials in political or religious organizations were liable to be sentenced to death for such acts. In 1780, Baron Franz Friedrich Kinnigi was recruited. He was the most instrumental person in the marriage of the Masons and the Illuminati. This allowed the Illuminati to expand rapidly with the use of Masonic lodges. On August 29, 1781, Congress of Wilhelmsbad declared the alliance official. Those in attendance were put under oath, never to reveal what took place in that meeting. Comte de Virio, a mason from Martinez de Lodge at Lyons, was questioned about the meeting upon his arrival home. He stated, I can only tell you that all this is much more serious than you think. The conspiracy which is being woven is so well thought out that it will be, so to speak, impossible for the monarchy and the church to escape it. He later denounced the Illuminati. Sir John D. John D. was a servant to Queen Elizabeth Tudor of the Tudor dynasty. John Dee was the head of the British Secret Service, the MI5. He was also known for the practice of black magic and his affiliation with the occult. If this is your first time hearing about the occult, or are unaware of its dominance in the world to this day, pay close attention. Pagan symbols, gods, rituals, and doctrines are the basis for most every religion practiced throughout the world. The Christian or Catholic symbols of the cross derive from the solstice and the equinox division lines on a zodiac calendar. The word heaven is in reference to what pagan religions referred to as the heavens, or galactic bodies. And the crossing of the age of Pisces into Aquarius is actually in reference to constellations, which interestingly enough, occur at the exact same time as the great cycle prophesied by the Maya, as well as many other cultures. As said before, pantheistic rituals are prevalent in all monotheistic religions today. Circumcision is a pagan ritual, marking males in a ceremonial fashion. Weddings are pagan by nature in the wearing of a ring, which symbolizes the ring of Saturn. Funerals follow the same pagan-derived ritual when a sacred geometrical tomb is placed over a grave to embody and immortalize the spirit. Baptism is a ritual to submerge a child in holy water to symbolize the renewal of life, just as rain replenishes the earth. The Holy Grail, filled with wine, is a representation of the blood that comes from the birth canal during menstruation, not the blood of Christ. This ritual was taken over by the patriarchal society. Males could not give life as women do, so to symbolize a male giving life was to draw blood, which could only be done by injury. In ancient Egypt, the goddess Isis was the personification of wisdom. Pharaoh Akhenaten changed the warship to himself as he proclaimed himself Amun-Re, the sun god. 
The word Amen at the end of a prayer spawned from the praise given to Amen Re. From there, the Hebrews left Egypt and traveled north into the Middle East, where they encountered the Canaanites, who worshipped the god of Saturn, El. The merging of these three gods became the name of the land today, which is known as Isis, Re, El, or Israel. 98% of Judaism is based around the worship of Saturn. And the sacred day of worship is Saturday. The worship practice on Sunday is originated from the Egyptians who worship the sun god. Most people simply pass these things off and never question their origins. But this just scratches the surface of the pagan influence over the present day. It is not just found in religions. It is found right here in our own backyard.